You may have heard a ton of success stories of people starting shops on Etsy and making a ton of money, but you might be sitting there wondering, did I miss the boat with selling on Etsy? Is selling on Etsy too oversaturated? And is it even still worth it in 2023? So in this video, we're going to go over the cons of selling on Etsy, the pros of selling on Etsy, and whether or not I still think it's worth it in 2023. So let's start with the cons of selling on Etsy. The first thing that you'll hear people complain about is that Etsy is oversaturated and that there's too much competition. I think the reason that people feel this way is that in 2020, there was 4.3 million active sellers on the Etsy platform. And in 2021, that number went up to 7.5 million active sellers. It did go down slightly here in 2022 with 7.3 million active sellers. That is a huge increase in competition. But the problem with a lot of newer sellers in 2021 is they saw a bunch of videos online about people making a ton of money on Etsy and wanted to join in as well. But when they went on Etsy, they thought they could just throw up some basic designs and make some sales. But in reality, it's a lot more complicated to start an Etsy business. You can't just throw things up there and see what works. Starting an Etsy business does take time and research and effort. I'll never tell you that it's an overnight success business. It does take a lot of hard work. In 2023, it's going to take a lot more than just throwing spaghetti against the wall and hoping that something sticks. Because your competition is super professional. They've got great designs, great photos, descriptions, and shop branding. So if you're going to start an Etsy shop in 2023, I think it's important to understand the amount of time and effort that it's going to take to be successful on this platform. This doesn't mean you can't be successful, but I think that if you go in with an expectation that it's just going to be easy money, you'll be disappointed. The second con to selling on Etsy is the increased seller fees. In 2021, the fee was 5% for the transaction fee, and in April of 2022, this actually increased by 1.5% to 6.5% on the Etsy fees. So this isn't a huge, huge change, but this does mean that you are at the mercy of Etsy. This is their platform, you don't own it, and so when there are changes made, there's nothing you can do about it. On that same note, the third con is that since you don't own the platform, Etsy does, that means that you are at Etsy's mercy to eventually close your shop if you don't do things the right way. Now, Etsy doesn't just close people's shops for no reason. The biggest reason why I see shops get shut down on Etsy is because of trademark and copyright infringements. If you don't know how to check trademarks for the designs you're making in your store, I do have a full tutorial video that I'll link down in the description because every everyday words can be trademarked on t-shirts and other items. So it's really important to understand this piece of it. It's also important to understand what copyrights are. Like most smiley faces are copyrighted. Using things like companies' logos or companies' fonts are copyrighted. And this is a big trap that some people fall into. So if you're going to start selling on Etsy in 2023, make sure you do your research on trademarks and copyright. If you do this, then you shouldn't have any trouble with losing your shop. So now let's go over the pros of selling on Etsy, and then we'll go over whether or not I still think it's worth it in 2023. The first pro is that Etsy is growing. Etsy sold over $2.32 billion in 2021, which was a 112% increase over 2020. We don't have the full 2022 numbers just yet as I'm recording this, but as you can see here, the first three quarters of 2022 completely beat out 2021, so it's going to be an absolute massive year for Etsy sellers. This year, Etsy has really doubled down on their efforts to make Etsy a household name. You've probably started to see their ads on TVs and at major sporting events. And so they're really pouring a lot of money into advertising their platform, which this means that there's going to be more sellers coming to Etsy. And that is more organic sellers that you don't have to bring to the platform. There's already been 93 million Etsy shoppers on the platform in 2022 already. This just means that you need to understand what people are already shopping for on Etsy and make sure that you have what they're looking for for sale in your store. This is way easier than making a product and then having to find customers who want to buy it. 
The second pro to selling on Etsy is there are so many new amazing tools to help make selling on Etsy and starting your own business easier than ever before. The first one is Printify. Printify is the print on demand company that I've used to build my almost $700,000 Etsy business since 2020. If you wanted to start a business before Printify was available with Etsy, then you would have had to buy a printing machine, all of the different colors and sizes of all of the shirts, make them yourself and ship them. But not everybody has that availability or funds to be able to start a business like that. So Printify is actually a print-on-demand company, which means that they will print the items for you only once someone orders it. So this is a really low barrier to entry way to starting your very own Etsy shop. All you have to do is make the designs for the products, list them in your store, and handle the customer service. This also means that you get to have an unlimited amount of items to sell in your store. You don't have to keep inventory anywhere or deal with actually making the items all by yourself or hiring employees. So now you have a much better chance of having what the customers on Etsy are looking for by having tons of different products available in your store. There are also a lot of great tools for Etsy sellers to find the best selling items easier than ever before. There's tools like the Everbee Chrome extension where you can search different categories on Etsy and then use the Chrome extension to actually sort which ones are selling best right now. That way you can more easily get the best selling item types available in your store right away and make more money. And lastly, there's Canva. If you've never designed anything before in your life, Canva can make it so easy to make simple, easy to read, and beautiful designs for your business for a really, really low price. You don't have to know how to use Photoshop. It's so intuitive to use this design software and makes it more attainable for everyday people like you and I, if you've never designed anything before either. I'd never made a single design for anything before I started my Etsy store in 2020 and now I've sold thousands of products that I made using this website. I do have the links to all three of these tools down in my description if you're interested in getting started with print on demand on Etsy. Obviously you can sell lots of different types of things on Etsy, but if you think print on demand might be a good fit for you, I do also have a link to my brand new mini course, which is my Etsy and print on demand launch guide. It has nine video modules that walk you through the entire setup process for your Etsy business. I walk you through setting up your Etsy store and your Printify accounts, branding your Etsy store, and even finding and creating a design and listing it for sale in your store. So if you've been nervous to start because starting feels really overwhelming, then feel free to sign up for my free mini course down in the description as well. It'll take you A to Z to getting started and all in one day. The third pro to selling on Etsy is being able to run ads directly on their platform. A lot of businesses run Etsy ads on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, but the difference between all those platforms and advertising on Etsy is when someone goes on Facebook, they're looking to see what their friends are up to, they didn't specifically come there to buy something. Whereas on Etsy, people come there with buying intentions in mind. They typically already have an idea of what they're looking to purchase. They type that into the search bar, they look through the results and they buy one. So if you can run ads where people are already looking to buy things and just pay to show up faster in the search results and at the top, then that can be a great way to grow your business more quickly in 2023. They also make it really easy to run Etsy ads by being able to see what people are specifically searching for to find your items and your ads. And you can even turn off different keywords if you're finding that not as many people are actually buying using specific keywords. And you can easily turn on and off certain items if some aren't performing as well as others. So now that you know the biggest pros and cons for selling on Etsy, I'll give you my opinion on whether or not I still think it's worth it in 2023. And even with all those cons, I do really think that it's still worth it to start an Etsy shop or continue your Etsy shop into 2023. And I'll go over a couple reasons why. 
I know that the fees got increased this year from 5% to 6.5%, but if you compare selling on Etsy to platforms like eBay and Amazon, the other biggest platforms like this, their fees are both closer to 15% for most of the categories that they sell on. So it's actually one of the cheaper platforms to actually sell your items on. And sure, you could start your very own website and sell your items on there, but that comes with its own costs and complications. You have to run Facebook ads or build a strong social media following to get business to your website since it takes a while to rank organically in the Google search results. You also have to pay your own individual taxes to each state when you have your own website, whereas Etsy actually handles all of the sales taxes for you. And when it comes to Etsy being too oversaturated or too much competition, trust me, there's always a new niche to sell in. There's always new current events that you can make designs for and that you can cross niche or design with different holidays, like combining things that are popular right now with holidays that are coming up. There's new trends like last year, the country theme or Western themed clothing was really popular. And so if you just pay attention to what's popular and how you can stand out and differentiate yourself from the crowd, you can still make so much money on Etsy. But the biggest reason why I think that it's worth it to start an Etsy shop in 2023 is that it is very low risk and low investment to at least start with a print on demand business. Most people are never going to be able to start a business from home that takes tons of time and tons of money to get set up. The great thing about print on demand and Etsy is you could get started today. You could start your Etsy store, open your Printify account and list your very first item for sale. And you could get your first sale as early as tomorrow, next week or next month. Everybody's journey is going to look different, but if you have an hour to put into this a week or 40 hours to put into this for a week, you can really customize it and put as much time or as little time as you have into this business. The alternative for most people than selling on Etsy is just not starting a business at all. And that's fine if this wasn't your dream, but I think most people eventually want out of the rat race or just want to have an extra little bit of income coming in that can help pay the bills or pay for your vacations. I think the next few years are going to pass no matter what you do. And so if you're interested at all in starting an online business, I do think that Etsy is the perfect place for beginners to get started since it is just so simple and easy to use. Again, I do have the link down in the description for my free Etsy mini course to get you started today if you're wondering how to get started with an Etsy and print on demand business. And if you enjoyed this content, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe. I do really appreciate all of you staying all the way until the end. And I hope that this helped give you a better idea on if it was right for you in 2023. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.